In this video, we're gonna rebuild the YouTube homepage inside of Figma so you guys can see exactly how developers would use Figma auto layout to build something like this. Let's get into it. Okay, so in front of me, we have the YouTube homepage and I'm in Spain right now, so you might see some, some Spanish content here, but I'm just gonna take a screenshot of this so that we can import it directly into Figma. And now we have our reference. So I'm gonna create a new frame here and I'm just gonna use the desktop one, which is 1440 pixels. I'm gonna put it on the left side here because that's just what I wanna do. Okay, so we've got a couple things here. Number one, we've got a few different sections here that we need to take into account. So we have the left side sidebar here. We've got obviously the main content the videos, we've got some suggestions on top, logo, search bar, and the sign-in. And then on the bottom, we've got shorts, which we will also do. But yeah, all of this will be redone. So let's get into it. So the first thing that we need to do here is to create a component that we can reuse for most of these sections. So we need to create a component for this and a component for this, also a component for this content here. So let's get started. So to do the very first component here, which I think we're gonna just do the video because that's might be the most, the, the hardest one to do. We can go ahead and create a new frame. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use something like this. And this will be our video. And so most of these measurements, I'm gonna be eyeballing them, but I'm gonna be using the eight pixel increments. So it'll get us to the closest that we would see in real life. I'm not gonna be 100% accurate with some of these measurements, but I'm just gonna use this just to see. Okay, so that is gonna be our video player. And then we have a profile picture, text, the name of the person that uploaded, views, and then the hours ago. So let's go ahead and do that. So for the profile picture, I'm just gonna add a circle here, okay? And then I'm gonna do a text. So here we can, something like text, title, example, multiple text. Okay, so then we can maybe wrap this around. Okay, so now we can start playing around with the auto layout to see how we would do this. Right now it works fine. And if we wanted to, we could just group this and we'd be done. But in order to design this how a developer would want it, we need to use auto layout. So I'm just gonna rename this to be something like image, and then this can be profile picture, and then this can be text. And I'm renaming these quickly, just using command R, that kind of pops up the, the renaming window. So let's go ahead and, and select these two, and we can create an auto layout of these two, and we can maybe say PP and text. And then we can select this, create auto layout again. So I'm using shift A to create an auto layout frame. And for this auto layout, we have 16 pixel increment, and then this one's 27. So this is way too much. So it's always good to just reset to eight and then use shift up to kind of bump that number up. And then this can be fill container. The frame itself can also be fill container so that it spans the actual width of the container so that if this changes sizes, then the text will also wrap, but the profile picture would stay as a fixed size. Okay, so that's all good. So now let's add the bottom part as well. So we can go ahead and paste this into the frame that we're playing with here, but we still want it to be part of that auto layout. So I'm gonna go ahead, reduce this. For some reason, this is on fill. So we just need to do hug text. Okay, and then so we'll, we'll say, I don't know, Ross as the channel name, make this a nice gray, put that on fill or hug, gonna duplicate that. And then we also need to duplicate it again to add this circle thing here. So I'm gonna select these three layers, click shift A, move it to the right side. And here we have the auto layout on the bottom that we need. Or actually this will be the view so we can do 100K views and then 18 hours ago, something like that. Okay. And then we see that it's obviously more than it needed to be. So something like eight. Okay, so now we can grab this again, paste it, and then change this now to be my name, Arna Ross. But we see that there is an issue that the profile picture stands alone on the left side and then there's the information on the right side. So we can use this to essentially create padding here. And I'm using the shift again, so we're more accurate in our measurements, okay. And we can reduce this vertical size here. This seems a little bit big. And so sometimes what you wanna do is if you want a different size measurement for one part of the frame. So for example, here, I want it to be eight pixels instead of 16, but I want the rest of it to be 16. So I want this from the image to the text, I want it to be 16 pixels. So what we can do is create two different auto layout frames and then we can then use that to separate it. So here I'm gonna type in content. Okay, so here we've got the content on the bottom, content again. So, I mean, these colors are a little bit dark. And I'm, I'm speed building here, but we can kind of get the idea. Okay, so that looks pretty similar. Maybe this could be bold, medium, it can be 14, something like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is rename this to video, okay? And then we're gonna use Command Option K on the Mac 
to create this into a master component and we can then paste it into our section here. Okay, cool. So now that we have that, what we can do is we can use option and just duplicate this a few times that we need. We can grab these, create a new auto layout and let's make this maybe something like 16 pixels. Okay, and we see that there's no images here. So I'm just gonna go into my plugin to unsplash here. I'm just gonna paste in some, some random images that I might find, some abstract ones. So now we can grab this duplicate it again, and we see that we've got two different rows here. So I can just type these in as rows, and we see that everything is properly named and things look the way they're supposed to, and we can use auto layout to move these around so they don't look exact clones of each other. Okay, so then we've got these two, create a row of that, so we can maybe say videos. Okay, so now we've got the right side here, which should be a little bit bigger, and maybe these are a little bit wide. It's probably something 16. And again, I'm just eyeballing a lot of these. And here's a quick tip, which is gonna be use enter and shift enter to jump in and out of layers. So that's how I'm doing that. Just quickly jumping in and out, and then you can mass edit a lot of the different files. Okay, cool. So now we've got the content on the bottom and to do shorts would be very similar. We just duplicate that. And I don't think shorts have profile pictures. We get rid of that. So it's just name and view count. We get rid of these, okay. And we can ungroup this here. We can get rid of the padding, do that. Get rid of the auto layout. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this as a component so that we can create a new one, okay. So then shorts will just be the same thing, but longer. And I'm gonna use auto layout here. Okay, so I'm guessing it's around. Let's see, fill, fill, okay. So we've got hug and fill, so we can create Fill here, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of that. And so our content here, there's gonna be something wrong here, okay. So the content itself was on fixed, hug, fill. There we go, okay. Go right there, go right there. Okay, so now we see what we wanna see here. So we can say shorter title name, and then we're gonna move this to the side so that we can create a new component here. We're gonna call it shorts, option shift K. We wanna make a copy. It's just so we have the, the master, right? Okay, let me make a few different copies here. Move it to the right. Again, 16 pixels, and this might not be exactly what it is, but you know what, close enough. Okay, so we've got the shorts, the videos, and we can also change these images here, some abstract ones. So now all we have to do is add the left sidebar and the top nav, and also these tags here. So let's go ahead and work with the tags first because they might be the easiest. So we can type in a text and we can just type in tag and then hit shift A, and that transforms automatically into an auto layout. Change the fill to be sort of this light gray, add in six, seven, eight, something like that more or less. So the first one's gonna be all, and I think it requires a bit more space. So we're just gonna do 16, 16. That's probably too much. We can work with that. So now that we've got these, I'm just double check. Okay, so now that we've got these different tags, we can select all of them like this, hit auto layout, and that automatically wraps everything up. Do 16 pixels again, and then maybe we can just start adding like live music, gaming. Okay, so now that I've gotten these, gonna paste some more in here so it can go off to the right side. And we can see that the color is a little bit off, but it should be fine. And what we can do is we can add it to this auto layout in here, move it to the top, okay? And maybe instead of 70, we want something closer to 60, something like that. Okay, so I think I messed up somewhere with the measurements for the for the player here, but we're just gonna extend this for the tutorial just to see what we can do here. So we're gonna take the same tag that we did here and we could create a component out of it. I don't really think it's necessary. So we're gonna call it side tag and all of these hit enter rename to tag and we can use number to differentiate them this one side tag will need a little icon as well so we can just use a circle for now something like that and on the left side here we can change that okay so let's see we can use i'm just gonna move it to the right so you can see what i'm working with here something like that i'm gonna need to redo the color here because it's pissing me off something close to this okay i'll grab this change that okay so this can be home Make sure that's centered in the middle. And we can see that there's a pretty big space there. So we just need to change it here. Something like 24 inches. Add in a bit more padding, I'd say like 12 all around. So we can do 12. Yeah, so that should be good. And then we can just extend this all the way to the right. And where does that leave off? Okay, so it does close off. Something like that. Okay, so now what we can do is we can just duplicate this again. We'll change this color and this will be our standard one. So we can maybe do shorts or whatever. And I'm just gonna use this. I'm not gonna go into icons here, but what we can do now is just duplicate this. We can add a line. Okay, so now we can make all of these into an auto layout and we can start sidebar. We can start naming the sidebar here. And the cool thing that we can do with the line is we can make it fill so that 
regardless of the size of the container, will have a line that makes sense for, for that size of the container. The same cannot be said here. Let's go ahead and make this into fill. And then the container itself will have to be the determining size. Okay. So size here, we can probably make this around 12, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And I can go ahead and just duplicate this, put it to the bottom. I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this a few times just so you guys can kind of get the idea right of what we would do for the sidebar here okay so we're getting pretty close i'm not sure how we're doing on time uh, i'll try to speed through the the nav bar which should be pretty easy i'm just gonna make a duplicate here so you can see what we're working with okay so for the top nav here let's go ahead and do fixed width 1440 see what we can work with move this to the top and i'm trying to do all this in auto layout so you guys can see why we would want to do that eh, probably something like that more or less getting here but the cool thing about auto layout is that we can actually see what we would be doing if we were building this in webflow and let me know guys if you want to see how i would build this in webflow in around probably a little bit longer time frame but it can easily be done and i hope that you guys can see that so i'm just going to do a quick hamburger menu here Duplicate this a few times, push it into auto layout, and we can do probably like two picks, probably like something like that. Okay, make all of these fill containers so that on the parent, we can then change the size of that, probably something close to that. Okay, so we see that there's a, there's an issue here. For the parent, I wanna make the, the top obviously be on top and then the other ones be on the bottom. So if I move the auto layout to be on the bottom, the content moves all the way to the bottom. So we need to transform this into an auto layout name it properly, and then we can move this here to the bottom. We don't need this top anymore. So now we can make this hamburger into its own auto layout, get rid of the stuff here. And I'm gonna expand this the entirety of the nav so we can see what we're working with. Okay, so now this, this, is, the, this is the cool part. So I'm just gonna go ahead and actually screenshot this, paste it in here, create a new auto layout out of that, like 24, we can do logo, this can be the nav. Okay, so now we've got the nav bar inside, so we can create a new frame. So our stroke can be something like that. We want it to be as round as possible. Just take that color. Okay, so in here, we want to be able to put in search, so we can make this its own auto layout frame, so we can see how we would do this. Okay, so now the hard part is this second part here. So what we can do is get rid of these two circles here. Okay, there we go. So now what we can do, duplicate this, flip it on its side, a new auto layout there. So I'm just flipping this using shift H. I'm just gonna take a screenshot of this icon here. For time's sake, I'm doing this, but you obviously would want to have your own icons and everything. Okay, we can get rid of that. So for the height, we wanna do fill container and then the parent, we can change the height. And this is important because it's two different elements inside this parent. So this can be the search and this can be the button. And then overall, this can be the search bar, if that makes sense. Okay, so then we've got Another icon here, which I mean, it's just a quick icon. Go ahead and paste that in there, bit like that. Some three dots and then a button. So the three dots, we can just, I'm not about to do some three dots here, but okay. And then a quick sign in, we can do using this layout here. So we've got sign in, we've got its own icon here, which we can use the color. So it's a bit more appropriate. Okay, so then for the content itself, seems to be white change that or we can actually just use shift x okay so now that we have all of our content itself how do we measure this or how do we actually move this around so that it looks the way it's supposed to well the first thing that we need to do is go into our settings here for auto layout and spacing mode use space between so that'll move everything to the opposite ends and it'll try to space everything as appropriate as it can. So then what we need to do is separate this into its groups, right? So we've got the logo, we've got the search with a button and then three dots and then sign in. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can just make a new auto layout there and I'm just using eight as the default for spacing here, but it might be something a bit closer, something like 16. And with that being said, I do believe that we've, well, we're missing this line here. Let's go ahead and add that. We can use fill container as we did earlier. And we can do something too, I think. So here we have it. We've got YouTube rebuilt, okay? And then if I go into the layer mode, we can see how, how we're doing this, right? So we've got overall, everything is auto layout using the same measurements, 1440p with the correct spacing. <laughs> we've got sidebar here. We've got the content of YouTube, which is then auto layout itself using 54 pixels. We've got the tags on top, content on the bottom, content separating line, and we created a new component here for shorts. Now, the cool thing about using component and the reason why we wanna use a component is that if, for example, we're working on this with a developer, for example, 
and he says, okay, this text, great, it's 14, but I think we want it to be something else. I think it, we want it to be indie flower, for example, right? Well, then that very quickly and easily changes to the rest of the content here. So that's the point of using components is that you can mass change everything, right? For the logo here or for the profile picture, we can also use Unsplash to insert a random image. But one thing to know is that you do need to do that individually to change everything. So I hope that this video helped you guys kind of understand what the purpose of auto layout is, why it's so important, why it matters so much when we're building. If you guys can ignore also this size. Here, let's go ahead and make this a little bit more narrow. See, the beauty of auto layout is that we can just change that. Everything here, fill, hug, hug. Parent is hug as well. We can see the point of using auto layout and using components so that we can easily change everything that we need to change. Let's see what's wrong with this last part here. There we go. So now everything works the way it's supposed to. So we can change this image size and we can see that everything scales appropriately with the content itself. Let's see if we can get to a, to a nice in-between. Okay, I'm just being a nitpicky here. But anyways, overall, this looks pretty similar to, to what YouTube would do. Some of the icons here would, would, need to be, would need to be changed, the content itself. If we wanted to add this part here, if we wanted to add text in between any of these, it'd be very simple. We just go into the parent element that we want to tackle, type in T and just type in something. So here we can do explore, for example, move it down. And the reason why it's on the right side here is gonna be because the auto layout is aligned to the left side. So we can go ahead and do that. And if we don't want to add padding to the auto layout itself because it's gonna mess up everything, we can then push this into its own little auto layout. And it already gave us eight pixels and padding left and right. But what we can do if we don't want that is we can change it up. So we can say, okay, I want it to be 16, maybe like 12. And the text itself should be a little bit larger. Okay, so that kind of gives us an idea of, of how you would attack that. And let me know, you guys, if you want to see how I would do this in Webflow or any other websites that you guys want to see me redo, tackle, redesign in Figma. And without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, any doubts about what I did, if you guys want to see anything else that I want to do, then let me know down below. And as always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.